All right, guys. Um, uh, I know my last video about the uh, RGH Cool Runner Revision C uh, Jasper. Um, I had to finish up, and uh, I didn't finish really the whole thing. But if you look at, uh, I uh, ran into little problems, which uh, I took care of them. I will show you in a little bit. Um, and one was on a, on a cool runner. I had it with the multi cap. I don't know if you guys remember that. I had to switch that. Uh, Xbox was freezing on me. So that was the problem. Let me take the power off. What I had to do is put the little 60 AUF resistor. Um, uh, and once I switched to that, it made it totally different. Uh, the multi cap did not work for me. It might work for you, so it did. But it did boot up and everything went smooth. It's just the wind hold, it would freeze. Uh, so now I've been testing it out, we've been doing it for a while now, and so far so good. So. All right, let's see to go back to what I left off. What I left off was we had a CPU key. Remember, we took the CPU key. All right, all you had to do, once you get the CPU key, all you had to do is create XE build image. All right, so you create an app. It's not going to, it's going to create an image. It won't create it now. I'm, I don't know. Oh, yes, I kept getting this. J Runner stopped working. We're not do it so if anybody has problems on Windows 7 um, uh, hit me up let me know what's uh, what's the problem that you have because I, I could not uh, create XE build with Windows 7 so I had to go back to my uh, XP old dinosaur that I have when I used to do all my um, all my JTAGging and stuff and that one created XE Build with no problem. And then after you create XE Build it, these are the NANDs. Um, as you can see, I have the up flash there. It's because I created it on the XP and I brought it in into this folder. Um, but after you do that and then you create the uh, XE Build image, all you got to do is write. And it asks you these questions, you write OK. And then it just creates, it's going to tell you the device not found because I don't have plugged in. But any questions, I'll be glad to help. And um, like I'm going to turn it on for you guys just to see. And it boots up pretty good. Um, and it boots up with no issues. I actually have a hard drive. Uh, I can't put it that way because my hard drive is underneath. I'm going to show you that boots up into free dash, um, freestyle dash. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to boot it up. I'm going to turn it on. I got a sync tin already. It's going to blink once. It actually does it in a couple of glitches. There you go. I actually booted up in one glitch. That was awesome. It's right there. So now, um, it goes into freestyle. I have it set up on my hard drive. And then, pretty much, I got one game on this hard drive. And I'll show you if it plays. Uh, everything is. Um, like I said, I had problems with the Windows 7. It would not, it would not, not create an image. So if anybody has problems, uh, how to solve that, and know anybody knows how to solve it, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, it works, as you can see. And I've been testing it. It doesn't freeze anymore after I change the multicap. 
So multi cap is a really it works for some, it might not work for every Jasper. So go back to the main menu. Um, you can see he's got XEX menu. Uh, XEX. I have that set up to go right to freestyle. So, um, yeah, guys, I mean, you really solve the problem by changing that little capacitator. Like I said, it's 68. UF, I got my uh, hard drive there temporarily. Uh, of course, I have the fan going at uh, about 60% fast through my uh, freestyle dash. So, that's it. So, I guess uh, that's from start to finish. You, got, you have it. And my next video will be flashing the drive. I'm going to be flashing the drive on this Jasper. It's a uh, light on, I believe, the 8000. I got to go look at it. I'll show you. All right, guys. Um, I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, and comment on a, on a problem. If anybody has that problem with, um, with Windows 7 that I have, it will not create image. Or XE build, whatever you want to call it, it would not do. I have the CPU key right there on my uh, dumps, and then again, look, create image. It goes into this, gives me this window. So there is a problem. If anybody has the same problem with this, let me know. I like to fix it. All right, guys. See ya.